Hey everybody, this is uh, Mr. Roche. Um, we are here working with Pentan, the computer move generator. Um, and what we're doing is we're trying to get this to work with the uh, Pentan game board. That's, that's basically what we're trying to do right now. And we'll try to get it to make, um, I think, random moves for Monday. So um, let's start doing it. Okay, um, I apologize a little bit because I'm on, like, on a plane. And um, it might be too noisy to hear, but we'll try our best, and we'll see what's going on. Okay. So right now, we got the exciting computer move generator, and it carries two variables with it. It carries a link to the game board, and it's got a uh, stone color. Okay, and what we have is we have our constructor to do all this stuff. Okay. So um, we can have many constructors, but right now we just got one. And what we need to do is make one of these bad people when um, we Madame go to the game board. Madame Etienne, we're traversing a zone of turbulence. The commander of the board demands to regain your seat and attach your ceinture. Ladies and gentlemen, we are playing for a turbulent area. The captain asks you to return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt. Uh, excellent. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the game board. and. Basically, we need to find a place where we're going to make these objects. And um, looking here, this probably this is a constructor here in Game Boy. We don't really want to do it there because we don't know if the computer is going to play or not. So um, what we're going to do is looking things over. There's paint component. That's not what we want to use. Right? We like paint component, but that's all good. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, okay, let's reset board. I'm just closing things up because I know you can do this. Um, how about start new game? That would be a good thing, right? Uh, let me close up this guy too. Okay, it might make it easier to see stuff. Okay, so start new game and maybe one place we do this. And voila, right here. Uh, what's going to happen is this is it for see your computer, right? Okay, so. We have a variable for player one computer. Um, that's okay, we're gonna carry some extra variables, I guess. Um, so let's go like this and say P1 computer player, okay? Player. Um, and then what we're gonna really do is we want to um, have this be something that everybody can access, okay? So um, I'm gonna make two variables before I do this all. I'm gonna comment this out right now. Before I do this, I'm going to go up to the top of Pente Game Board, and this is the place where we can have variables for computer game players. So we'll go like this. Okay, and um, I'll go like this. We'll say private because we hide our data. That's great. And we'll say computer. Um, our class is called computer move generator. Yep. So it's going to be a private computer move generator. And it's going to be P1 computer. Okay. And I'm going to set these initially to null. So if we don't make them, we can just sort of check and see if they're there and stuff like that. So I would, I would do something like that. Okay. We'll call it computer one computer. And then I'm going to make one for, for two, player two. So that's not bad. And I got one for player two. So this is actually kind of easy, right? So all I did was I just added a new variable to this game board player. And now I'm going to go down here. And since I got the computer player variable right here, I can just go like this. I can say equals new. Generator. Generator. Um, and then we have to send it two things. The constructor requires, let's find out where the really constructor requires. Um, the constructor requires a penny game board and an indication of who's the color of the player, right? So that's pretty easy. Okay, so player one, we all know, is. <laughs> is 
Layer one is the dark stone. Okay. So we can just go like this. You can do it. And the board is in fact the board. So let's go like this. The board is this. And then we're gonna say black stone. Okay. And hopefully that'll be okay. Yeah, okay, so that's good. And this one is gonna be the same kind of thing. So I'm just gonna go down to where this happens and add this right here. And change this to player two. So there you go. Alright, so let's see what happens. So screwed up. Okay. So run it again. Okay. The new player one is going to be C for computer. Well, let's see what happens. And what happens is player two might be C for computer also. So you could actually play against yourself. Now let's test and see what happened down here. Uh oh. I didn't see our thing. All right, so let me check that out. Oh, it was a problem. Let's see. Let me check computer. Let me check. So let's say computer. Actually, it should be the computer. Okay. okay, there's the computer, right? And that's good. That's, yeah, it looks like I made the computer. Now, what we want to do is do a couple of things. I think you got to change this to quotes. Okay. I think we have to do this. Um, I want to go like this and make this whatever they type in lowercase. doing is I'm going to convert whatever the name is to lowercase and then see if that equals computer. Okay. Let's do that all around. Because it's just so long, I'm gonna do this. Okay. So that looks pretty good. And then um, let's keep this another guy out here. Okay, so I'm gonna kill this. Start this. Run this. And let's see what we got. Okay, so. Say computer like that this time. Let's see, it's got player one. That's good. Computer. Okay. 
Uh oh, this guy's going as by one, so I did something wrong. Oh, because the fair chance it says white stuff. Okay, so that's pretty good, okay. And this should get it to get working, and then we'll do another video where we'll start um, making kind of random moves. Okay, so let's get it to actually like move to the board, okay? So that's great. Um, thanks a lot, and we'll see you later.